everyone Shea Bear 1000 here today we're going to do some work on this 79 cc uh, predator it's about a three horse that carburetor I bought for it is absolute junk and they wanted to give me a 30% discount refund on it and I said oh, well that means I'm still paying you money for something I can't use I said I want a hundred percent discount and send me a return shipping label and they said well we'll just we'll we'll go ahead and and refund your money and you can just keep the carburetor I don't know what I'll do with it I guess you know might be parts on it I don't know if I ever need them but anyway yeah just uh, no matter where you screw your air adjustment in it didn't make any difference it just didn't it didn't run it didn't run as good as the one I took off that was bad you know that it ran with a choke on this one made no difference whether you had it on choke or not so but we're gonna do a couple little things for this uh, I got a mess over here because I got a couple different projects um, I'm messing around with the boat it's almost ready to go and uh, so but I want to get this I got some things ordered for it and uh, I did get some stuff in and I'll show you what we're going to do on this so let's get to the intro and let's talk about this engine and get started on it Alright guys, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put we're gonna put our racing header on it. Just an open pipe miter cut header on it. And it comes with a couple bolts, gaskets, and a couple O-rings, which we're not gonna need the O-rings, but there it is. I mean that thing looks big in the in the camera, but it's not, it's small, trust me. There's my index finger so that gives you an idea but i think what we need to do this is the original muffler on it right up here so what i think we need to do shoot a little gas in it start it up we're going to do a sound comparison let's see what it sounds like with this and then after we put our header pipe on so let me find something put some fuel in because i don't want to run it long because we just want to go for sound uh, we might fill this bowl up with some gas then we'll go from there okay so let's start this up and see what it sounds like with the uh, factor exhaust on it hopefully it don't take off on me Okay, I don't know what, did you see it? Well, the main thing is if you heard it. All right, now, let's go put our header pipe on. Okay, hopefully, I won't have to pull these studs out of here. I had to saw this, this sauce. I had the sauce off of here. <laughs> I had this exhaust off here before. Can't remember why, but yeah, that one's not real tight, so. I should port and polish that head, but remember this is resale. I can't spend a whole lot of time on it, you know? So um let's get our gasket out. Now I'll show you what else we're going to do to this little motor. Alright. Here's our gasket. You 
Yeah, I should, uh, should port that a little bit better, but like I said, I ain't, you know, this is resale. If I was going to keep it, this wouldn't even be the engine that I would be putting on it. Uh, let me see, which way? Okay, it's got to go back this way. Oh, this will work. Yeah. Okay, this will work. Oh, okay, these aren't... I was like, why are they giving me O-rings? They're lock washers. So we will go ahead and use, use these lock washers on here. And, yes, just by doing away with the original muffler and putting a header pipe on it, you're... You're upgrading your horsepower. Uh, Chevy V8. If you just take a, a stock, small block Chevy V8, say a 350, and you put a set of headers, good set of headers on it, like a set of hookers or competitions or whatever, um, it can increase your horsepower by 15%. Not 15 horse, but 15%. So, really does make a difference i can't wait to see what this thing sounds like like i said i got some projects i want to get this hurry up and get this boat done so i can start on the toyota that's going to take a little bit because that's you know pretty much a complete rebuild hopefully if the pan comes off if i can get the old pan off I can rebuild it in the truck all right so there's that now let me get this filled back up with some fuel and uh, let's take it over here and hear the difference in it this this pipes gonna get hot quick so I hope these gloves can handle that Let's do something else. And as always, I'm uh, sorry about the lighting, uh, but I can't be out in that sun. I just, I just can't be out there because, yeah, it's super duper hot. All right, now, so this is going to make some kid a good little rider. Uh, this, of course, wouldn't be ideal for an adult by any means but hmm. all right anyway we will take this carburetor off of here We're going to put another carburetor on it. I got a better setup carburetor, a good one, hopefully. All right, what's this? I get these gaskets off of here. should have there's my gasket right there All right. okay let me get this scraped off and cleaned off real good okay let's put our gasket on here I think it comes with new bolts in here but I, I think I think these will be long enough. We'll just have to see. Uh, this is going to go on here like this. Then we've got our other gasket. I 
That's weird. I'm not sure why that doesn't want to go on there. Because I'm going to be putting this on here. There we go. Perfect. So this is going to be going on here. Now, we've got to get our nuts out. Well, you know, I'm probably going to have to change them. All right. Not a big deal. Take this off. Just double nut this. I got to get another 10 millimeter. So I can tighten them down. Now, yeah, it's not wanting to come out. Well, there we go. All right. There's one, and I'll have to get a socket. When I go to put that back on there, we may start it up again with the new carburetor, but I don't know. Um, I'd rather wait until it's back on the bike I got a new chain, I got a bigger sprocket for the back to give it a little more torque. Like I said, this will probably be for a kid if it's, you know, if an adult wants to buy it for himself. I got an extra motor over here he might be interested in. I always hate when it makes that, that sound you think you're going to snap off because that's metal going into aluminum. I've been fortunate enough I've never snapped off carburetor bolts, but I have snapped off uh, exhaust bolts, header bolts, muffler bolts in the block. They're not, they're not super hard to get out of these small engines, but it's still not something you want to do. Alright, now let me go ahead and get this one out and I'll bring you back and we'll put the other ones in. Yeah, they was just almost long enough. Not quite. Now, these should tighten up as we tighten the carburetor. Because I don't want to get them super dyna whopping tight. This on here. Get our carburetor on here. Use 
just push it on. Okay. Now we can put these on. You know, I think I could have probably got them to go on the other one. All right, I got to get me a ratchet. And I forgot it, so. Let me get a socket. Again, they don't have to be super, super tight, but there's that. All right. So we got that on there. Probably saw we got a filter. It's a stage one kit is what we're putting on here. I wanted to go with a slide carb, a Makuni style, but uh, I still would have had to buy this filter and, uh, you know, with the filter and everything, it just wasn't, for resale, it just wasn't going to be feasible for me, so, but, yeah, that goes on there like that. But we also have this little guy right here. He is for the vent. He'll go on there like that. Somewhere out of the way. And then this guy will go on there like that. And we got a pretty good looking setup there <laughs> all right yeah I don't know if I want to start that or not back out a little bit um, put this in here. Yeah, I'm not sure um, we could try it we could try it I guess let me get my, let's take this off and this off, since I don't have them screwed down yet. Make sure it's going to open up all the way. Yeah, it's wide open, it's going wide open. Okay. So what I'll do, when I put it on the bike, I'll run a return spring from here or over to here or whatever. I also got the hand grips and the twist throttle, so that's cool. They came in. Um, I got a new spark plug for it. It didn't come in this kit. It came in with the other kit. I got to get... lose one of my clamps here get that well I got extra clamps so that's okay if I do lose one all right well all right you guys talk me into it let's uh let's take it over here and fire it up again one more time and that'll be all we're going to do today i'm going to do the bike uh, i'm going to do the bike i'm just going to take it now i'm going to take the handlebars off spray paint them i'm not going to paint the bike itself i'm just going to clean it up real good because we got to pull that back wheel off anyway to change that sprocket I went with a 72 tooth sprocket like I said more torque and if a kid's going to be on it they don't need all that speed because this thing when I first took it for a ride I mean it was you know it it couldn't run wide open because of the carburetor and it just uh, I mean you know I was running 20 pretty quick with it so I changed this I got a clutch coming went with an 11 tooth clutch and a 72 tooth rear on a 35 number 35 chain so yeah we'll see how that goes anyway enough chit chat let's start this up again okay guys let's give this a shot 
see what happens here. All right, let me prime it, hang on. All right, let's try this again. wanted to run it out of gas so there was no gas sitting in there all right let me get this picked up here and I'll bring you back all right guys so there's our little miniature hot rod engine um, yeah I'd, <laughs> I'd like to get something I can just build up myself build I'd like to build a go-kart or a rail buggy or you know something like that a small one nothing you know not full size but uh yeah i'd like to build one um but yeah that's that's pretty cool i could tell a difference as soon as i put that pipe on with that other carburetor right it felt peppy now it now it really of course you know it's carburetor's going to need adjusted but uh i mean i just threw it on there so yeah that's uh pretty cool so there it is guys uh thanks for watching there'll be more to come this has got its own playlist so I think it's under the mango thun thunderbird but uh yeah so pretty cool we're getting it closer for resale um yeah i'm still i'm a little over budget but i think i can still make my 200 dollars on it i believe so yeah it, because well it's in good shape tires are in good shape you know it's decent it's a decent bike so i've seen I've seen crap for $350 on Facebook Marketplace and don't even run. Needs carb, won't start, or something stupid like that, you know? And it's like, dude, come on, <laughs> you know? But, uh, and most of them have, you know, the just the little Briggs and Stratton motors on them. Now, this would be, if an adult was going to have it, a 212 or 420 uh, Predator engine would be perfect on it or that six and a half horse Briggs and Stratton uh, I got sitting there I'm I'm confident it'll run but that'll be our next will it run video we'll we'll try to get that one running that way if somebody wants to pay me a little extra I'll throw that motor in for them I'll throw it in you know for a little extra money you know so all right guys thanks for watching appreciate it there's another look at it I hate that motor. Hey monkey, if I never told you I hate that motor. That's the trawling motor. 
all right so there it is pretty cool all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one bye bye and take care everyone